So we continue our discussion with Warren regarding debt over the holiday period, what to do if we've incurred it, how do we tackle it, and how do we avoid it during a very high pressure time. Why? Because we've got kids screaming for the brand new Christmas present, um, the latest toy on the market. We've got partners demanding jewelry. Um, jokes aside, there is a lot of pressure to spend money over Christmas. How do we approach buying gifts during Christmas responsibly. It sounds like he's speaking from experience. <laughs> it's like we all know the story. <laughs> you know? I think with friends, for example, uh, it actually starts with a conversation. So what we do with our mates is we, we will say, hey guys, are we doing gifts for each other this year? Yeah. You know, because you feel this pressure to just hand over and you know, if I don't buy you a gift and you've bought me one, I'm gonna feel lame. Yeah. So, so it starts with that. Just to say, are we doing gifts? Shall we set a budget? And I think that's quite nice for the, for the friends, and, and that's okay. And, and start that conversation. A lot of people will be like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll join you on that one, you know? Just yeah. be open, yeah. And, and I think that is, so, so maybe for the older family members as well, obviously for your own kids, you're always going to buy them gifts. Cool. Got it, yeah. but, but I think for other family members, again, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're joining two sort of groups of the family together for Christmas, have the same conversation. I think for your own children, before you go shopping, sit down and set a budget per child per gift. Just to say to yourself, okay, it doesn't matter what I see in those shops and how amazing it is, how much am I spending, and when you get in there, that's what you spend. And it's amazing how that kind of frees you up from a bit of guilt and a bit of impulse buying if you have a proper strategy. It's all about the game plan. And then, of course, there are those, those tools, those influences that allow us to spend a little bit more than we ordinarily would, things like accounts, credit cards, um, and obviously we know recovering debt like that comes at a premium. How do we approach the use of credit over this time? I think I'd be really careful to get to get into very expensive debt. So, for example, your credit card, your store card, those are those are expensive debts. Premium, and I know yeah. the the banks and um, and even the sh the shops will be you know pumping their, their their offering to you now and telling you how amazing it is. And you know we've just got this new launch of whatever it is. From your point of view, it's about your game plan. Is it important to you to spend money on on things that just have no value uh, for for a kind of a thirty second bit of gratitude yeah, or whatever the deal is? Yeah. Or do you want to start there on the right foot and get going? Then um, I think you know there's this obviously a, a big upswing in promotions, in um, service providers, in stores offering us all sorts of great deals. How do banks approach this time of the year? Do they kind of up their interest rates? Do we are there any hidden costs involved there? Uh, you know what, what are the big dangers when it comes to this time of the year in terms of the fees that we pay? We expect stores to hike up prices to score, but um, yeah. how, how do we we sit with the banks? Uh, I mean, look, I'm not I'm not a big uh, fan of the banks, but I, I will say to be fair to them, I don't think they push up prices or anything now. There might be uh, advertising how easy it is for them to offer you a personal loan, wow. so, so to give you additional debt and, and make it easy for you to do that. But I don't think they'll push up their fees or, the, or, or their interest rates. So, so I think be careful of taking that wonderful personal loan that they're going to advertise to consolidate all your debts into one, because what you're really doing is just digging a deeper hole for yourself. So don't take more debt now, uh, even if it's offered to you. And then I think be careful of the stores. You know, and I'm, I'm thinking about movies and games. Everything gets released now. Yeah. And it's you know it's the latest and the that, greatest, yeah. and now you've got this pressure. Just you know, just think about it and say to yourself, that's not important. You know, we, we're going to do other things with, with our money and our time. We want to be able to eat in January. You know, in our industry, there's such a downward swing. You really have to approach that start of the new year um, with a huge amount of responsibility. Um, but again, we don't want to dampen your holiday spirits. You've just got to be responsible about everything, so you don't start the new year on the wrong footing. We'll continue our chat in a moment.